M0FXB Hamtech, welcome to my channel. Big thanks to the DigiPi Project KM6LYW. Take a visit to the Patreon page. But I just want to show you that whether you're running an iOS device or an Android device, you can interact with your radio and the DigiPi system that we've got here, which is a Raspberry Pi with an image that's been made by Craig, KM6LYW. And you can see I've selected WSJTX and that's the mode that we're in. There's a control panel. So if you go to the IP address like you can see here, that's our main control panel. We can choose from APRS Gay, APRS iGay, Digipeter, APRS Web Chat and so on and so on. And at the bottom there we've got Slow Scan TV, FL Digi, JS8 and it wirelessly connects these. All you do is have one wire from your radio, which is just here, going to the Pi and then everything is done for you. So if we just uh, select, let's just say FL Digi, by turning it on here, and we'll see the way it's logged out there, and we'll turn off WSJTX as well. And with a bit of luck, when we select in the browser selections there, uh, we'll be able to connect to that. So if you saw that, I don't know if you saw that, but on the screen here of the DigiPi, and you can get these screens for about eight pound, they're color screens, and when you're using it on APRS TNC, all the call signs are coming in, and, and there's some, some plans there for the whole screen to eventually show more information. Uh, always develop, you know, it's always developing. So FL Digi, so all we do now is press the shortcut FL Digi, now with some radios it will come quite pre-configured, with others you have to just go in and change some settings. So see if it will boot up on my thing, uh, on my Android device, we're going to click connect there. And even if it doesn't, you'll still get an idea of how it works. And of course you can just go to your PC and access all this as well. Now to go back to your control panel, you just go back, you know, put the IP address anywhere, as long as you're on the same network, anywhere, it's all wireless. Um, and all you do is turn off FL Digi and then turn back on WSJTX. The screen tells you what's happening. Just got, so my fingers are, are a bit small here. Let's try WSJTX. So we'll go to the browser links and we'll click WSJTX. That's working. And then we'll hit connect on the phone. Yeah, it's showing that's the iPhone. So both systems, and then we can enable TX. My eyesight's so bad as well. Now, to resize the screen, if you're getting a bad screen size, just tap that, tap settings, and then select local scaling in the screen. But look, we're gonna start TXing. How good is that? And I'm seeing exactly the same thing on my PC just here in the background, because everything's working off the same browser. I will show you that before it ends. Let's let it um, TX a couple of times. So once you can get to everything, you know, what else? You can use your tablet. I've got a tablet here. All the call signs are shooting in nicely now. Let's see if we, we'll wait a couple of calls and then we'll see if we get a contact. The nice thing about the Zygu is you've got the built-in tuner. I have got the 705, which works great with the DigiPi system but um, no tuner. See our little AGC going here. We're on filter one. Ah, it looks like we've got a contact from F5PMF. And we, we had it and then I clicked the other station because I didn't know that was gonna happen, but it seems to still be doing its thing. I did move the slider up and up a bit here on the right hand side, just here, there's a slider for power. And I edged that up and then we started to get some contacts. And then we're getting the replies, the signal, minus eight, minus 0.5, frequency 1205. Someone tell me what all that means, the 1205. I haven't set any clocks or anything like that. You can see that my receive on the, just here, the green is about at 60. Now I could increase that. Oh, the iPhone's getting a bit low. But yeah, very, very pleased with that. I'm sat here. I, do, I, can, I can go out in the garden. As long as I've got my DigiPi, my radio, 
it's going to work. Yeah. So we do always need to have that sort of Ethernet connection or wi Wi-Fi network connection, should I say? You know, so everything can be viewed and talked to itself. But come on, how good is this? Working great. Bye for now.